uh, in New York City, in Washington, D.C., in Baltimore, Maryland, where I live, uh, in, uh, in Chicago, in Los Angeles, is happening everywhere. Cities are being transformed by the political power and the economic power of the elites. Uh, gentrification is, uh, the is when a traditionally low-income neighborhood is uh, transformed and replaced by upper-income people moving in. And when upper-income people move in, it uh, inevitably rises property values and changes housing, uh, often from rental housing into ownership for higher prices. I was born on 26th and Larmer at the Brookshire Hotel, which still exists there. And then from there, we crossed the street over to uh, 24th and Arapahoe on Lawrence. So I grew up in the housing projects there. We get appointed a city planner named by Jennifer Moulton. She was the leading city planner in America at the time. She won all the top awards. She was a top city planner. She wrote a paper saying, 10 steps to a living downtown. Here's what Denver has to do. And she laid it out specifically in the mid-90s. She said, the problem with Denver is everybody with money left, and the only people left downtown are those unwanted as neighbors anywhere else. That was her quote. People unwanted as neighbors anywhere else. She said they live in a bad belt. That was her phrase, a bad belt around downtown of five neighborhoods. Well, what neighborhoods are those? La Alma Lincoln Park, Highlands, Lodo before it was transformed, Curtis Park, Five Points. Every time they came into our community and every time they said they were gonna fix the light post or they're gonna fix that sidewalk that had been broke all our lives and we trip, we already knew not to trip over that sidewalk because we've been running that sidewalk forever. All of a sudden, they are put a new sidewalk and oh, that's where you get new trees. Wow, we're lucky for us, we finally get, whoa, we're over here, we get new trees, you know? No, you're getting gentrified. <laughs> we're moving your butt out of there. You know, well, we, want, we decided we want this neighborhood right here. When we didn't want it, we said, ooh, you go live over here. We're gonna go up here in the suburbs and stuff. Now you come back and you go, oh, wow, everybody wants to live by Illiches and downtown. And uh, I remember, you know, back in the day when you had the Curtis Park, you had all of the various communities uh, and within our area. and. Uh, they came through and, and, and took a lot of that away. I mean, they moved a lot of people out. They were relocated because they had no place to stay, no place to live. So that's actually what the, what the whole truth is, is that a lot of the community was moved out. It was placed in another area. It was taken from Five Points. And when you look at it now, uh, there's no comparison to the days back in the day. So when you, you know, I just, <laughs> I come through Five Points and I look, and I think about the day when we, every, you know, we used to have blacks everywhere. You come down through five points now, you see blacks nowhere. Statistically, um, as we look at the piton numbers from um, uh, the census data, more Anglo babies were born in five points for the first time. When I say the word uh, gentrification, how would you, uh, what comes to mind when you hear that? What comes, what, what comes to mind is the transformation of a community that was traditionally uh, and historically a, a community of, uh, where a particular ethnicity lived. In, in, in the case of the United States, it's ethnicities of color, uh, African American communities, Latino communities, uh, where um, uh, young people, mostly young white uh, uh, professionals are coming in and buying up a lot of the property in these communities because they can afford to do that uh, and uh, uh, not uh, maliciously forcing uh, long-term residents of those communities out but displacing them because they have more economic power. So they start gentrifying Larmer. So now you can't go to Larmer. You can't go to Larmer. So then my, my, my people had a bar on 28th and Larmer and it was called a Bronco and they ran that. But all of a sudden, here comes a few people saying, you know what, them people are in their bunch of riffraff. You know what, you see them come out and they're drinking and they're just like a nuisance to the community. We gotta just get rid of that. Them people there, them people need to go. So they came in, bam, them people are gone. But right across the street, oh hell no, 23rd and Larmer, you see people falling out of the building there early in the morning, they sit all over the street. I walk it, there's an event like Oktoberfest. They're throwing the trash cans over. They're throwing shit all over the place. They don't go to jail. They don't get tied up and, and, and put upside down in their cop car they used to do us. Put our feet, handcuff it to the headrest and, and smother our face in there because we're walking down the street. 
And we weren't even living in our apartheid, but we were getting in, living under the same conditions. And what would you say to those who would say, and it's progress, we have to move forward. You're talking about what was then, if we're going to be a great city, we have to move forward. Well, one thing I'd say is I wish people would be willing um, to play fair. Okay, if it's just a natural process, then get your foot off our neck. And what I mean by that is the city's heavily invested in supporting one group over another. They're pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into these projects, whether it's post properties or East Village or pavilions or, or, or the, 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 the entertainment stuff in Lodo. The Downtown Convention Center Hotel, $500 million. The Hyatt runs it. Taxpayers built every penny of that. There's not a single penny of private money in there. It's all taxpayer funded. So at least quit pouring our tax dollars into these huge upscale projects and let us play fair with each other and see what really people want in these communities instead of you know doing it that way. Um, so I mean, start there, just play fair. Gentrification is a, is a topic no one really wants to talk about, but I talk about it all the time. I, I think no one wants to talk about it because it invokes uh, race, it invokes class, it invokes, um, you know, people are insulted and, and put off by it. I don't think people have to be at all. I mean, it, it's by and large an economic issue and it plays out in my mind in race.